good. In this video, I will be showing you how to sell digital products on Link3. Once you have created your Link3 account, which you can do for completely free, what I would recommend you do is open a new tab. On this new tab, the platform that we are going to be integrating with Link3 is Gumroad. And Gumroad is a platform that you can use to create and sell digital products for free. All you'll need to do once on Gumroad, and by the way, if we were to tap on pricing right here, you can see what I said earlier is true. As with Gumroad, you'll be able to upload and start selling your product for free. The only pullback is they will take a 10% flat rate with each sale that you make. So if that sounds good to you, once on Gumroad, you can simply tap on dashboard after signing up. Then from here, you can go over to the left hand menu option and you could select products. After selecting products, you can tap in the top right hand corner on new product. And from there, you can enter your product name. After you have done that, you can see you can create a digital product. You can choose to create a course, ebook, membership, physical product bundle, whatever you would like to sell, you can choose. So let's say we were to select digital product. After doing that, you can set the price that you would like to sell it for. Then you will tap on next in the top right hand corner. After you have done that from here, you can add your product name. You can add a description real quick and then you could add a cover image. So let's say for example, we are selling an ebook. I could tap on upload image right there, then select computer file. And then from here, I could choose an ebook cover. So let me randomly choose an ebook cover real quick. So let's say for example, this one, then you'll tap on open. After you have done that from there, you can simply go down and you can choose the call to action that you would like to use. So you can see buy this or pay. Then after doing that, all you will need to do now, you can simply scroll back up. And then from here, we are going to tap on content. After selecting content, you could type out the content that you would like to add. Or what you can do also is you could tap right here where you see insert file and you could paste in the file right there. So let's say we were to select computer files and I'm just going to add the file. So let's say for example, I would like to add a file for my ebook. So let me find a file real quick that I can add. So I'll just be adding something random. Let's say for example, this, and I'm just going to add it real quick. So I'll tap on open. After you have done that and it has been added, all you'll need to do now, you'll tap on publish and continue. So you can see it is being uploaded right there. Once it has been added, you'll tap on publish and continue, or you can tap on share right here. So just give it a few seconds. Once your file has been added, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish and continue in the top right hand corner, and you can see how it looks right there. So we have now created our digital product. All you'll need to do is tap on copy URL. And by the way, we're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you'll tap on payouts. After selecting payouts, you're going to tap on settings in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you can verify your location. And after doing that, you can connect your PayPal and Stripe account. Once you have done that, you're going to go back into link three. Then all you'll need to do from here, you're going to tap on store, then tap on get started, and you're going to paste in your product URL. Then tap on add. After you have tapped on add, you can see your product has been added right there. Then from here, you can choose the currency and you can see the price. Then you'll tap on add product. After you have tapped on add product, you can see your product has been added right there. Another thing you can also do is if you'd like to create a collection, you can do that by tapping on add collection. And if in the future you'd like to edit it, all you'll need to do is come back onto this page and you can tap on edit right here and you can make any changes you want. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.